everyone welcome back to my channel um just wanted to share my experience with doc martens and the leather and sort of different types of doc martens um because you've got like the smoother style which is like this kind of smooth leather and or like this kind of made in england smooth le leather they're both made in england but well actually yeah, this one yeah this one is also made in england it's the smooth leather um, or the Pascal leather uh, or kind of this hybrid sort of it's not hybrid but it's smooth but it's quite soft with the church style Doc Martens so there's different types of Doc Martens there's different types of leather and there's different types of ways of kind of conditioning the leather to make it more comfortable to make it smoother um, to keep it moist basically and I've tried a few different things like I heard about uh, first of all mink oil and when I ordered it the only one that they had was this kind of genuine mink oil Which is kind of like a paste. Um, I'll show you what it's like so Yeah, it looks like this um, And you can kind of scoop it up even with your finger, but you could use a brush like this Doc Martens brush um, So you can like dab that in there or use your finger or use a cloth I used all three, but I ended up using my finger is probably the easiest. And I actually used it on, sorry, this one. Um, and what I found was like, cause this is the smooth leather, you don't really want to put, like you can put stuff on the outside, but it doesn't really get absorbed because this is kind of like a plastic coating. Like uh, you can see like the real leather, the grain, but there's like a plastic coating that goes all the way around the shoe and it's pretty hard for anything to penetrate this shoe so my suggestion like in the shop they kind of say you can put even the the wonder the not wonder bomb the yeah the wonder the wonder balsam on the outside but you know maybe you can with this but with the mink oil i would suggest putting it inside so i did kind of put that paste inside with some cloth in my my hands and kind of rubbed it in and it did make it a bit more soft um, but not a massive amount like you'd still have to wear this for like months like it might make it slightly more comfortable for a couple of um, maybe maybe it'll take like two or three less days out of ten or something um, but you'd still have to wear this for like maybe two weeks maybe ten days or something um, you know I have worn it for about a week and it didn't really, to, to be honest, I don't really feel like it's becoming super kind of more comfortable or anything. Um, in fact, the mink oil just makes it super moist and kind of maybe I put too much and it kind of rubs, like it rubs off on my socks and my trousers or whatever, my jeans. So that was the first method I tried with this paste. And at the same time I ordered, um, I ordered this, it's a bit messy now because it's kind of covered in mink oil, but it's the liquid mink oil. Um, so this you can kind of put in inside again. So I did that on these and it changed the color. So this color used to be really light of the inside leather. So if you don't want your color to change of the inside, then maybe don't do it, but I, I wasn't too bothered. And it actually works pretty, it worked pretty well to moisturize the um, inside of the shoe, but in terms of stiffness, um, I don't know what it is with these Doc Martens, but like you're never going to get it like super supple. I think all of this mink oil stuff is going to help a little bit, but to be honest, in my experience, um, I don't think it would have made that much difference. And in fact, if I could go back in time, I probably wouldn't put it on as much as I did. Um, I've saw videos on YouTube kind of saturating the insides and I kind of tried that on this one and it's still super it's still super tough and this is just how these boots are made to be like super kind of un uncompromising would be the word that I would say and you know all the creases are still there uh, you again you could put the Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam on on top I would say but with these smooth ones I don't 
like I don't really know if they're going to be absorbed. It's kind of going to condition the outside to make sure it's not too dry. But you're conditioning plastic, so I don't really know what it would be doing to be honest. So again, um, I would say just wear them. Um, if you get like chips at the front, like where you kick something and scuff it all up, then you could probably use something like this Wonder Balsam or if you have certain areas like the heel, which are like super hard, you, I think it'd be better to put something inside like the Wonder Balsam or even like, you know, this mink oil paste or um, where is it? The mink oil liquid. Uh, so yeah, so again, I tried a different method with these. And then because I was so uncomfortable with the kind of stiff leather, I decided to get these, which are the um, Pascal Virginia Doc Martens, which are, these are probably one of my favorites. So out of all of them, these are probably my favorites because of the shape. And these are actually kind of um, narrow as well. So if you've got narrow feet, it would be better for that. But sticking to conditioning the leather, I found with these, I didn't touch them with mink oil because like you can see they're like super soft. Like I'm not pushing these hard. They're super soft anyway. And the Wonder Balsam is amazing with these. Like I would stick to whatever Doc Martens gave me with these. And I take a tiny bit and I'll show you what it looks like. So I take, well, it's got, first of all, it's got a pad, which is actually pretty nice. Um, and I think this has, beeswax in it um, it's some combination of beeswax and something synthetic but it looks like that uh, so it's kind of nice and pale it's kind of translucent when you spread it on it doesn't really color anything and you just take some like that and you literally like every I would say to begin with like every month or every two weeks you might want to do this so where like, I don't know, these creases are, I would just kind of put a little bit on with my finger and rub it into the crease like that. And you can use your finger. Like I find with my finger, it's kind of much, I don't know, easier to kind of get into the, the nooks and crannies. And um, you can see like this area might need attention and it does feel pretty dry right now because I've had the heating on in the house. So leathers, like especially this soft supple leather is like your skin. Like you condition your skin, like I know I do that every day and you know, maybe I'll do a video on that one day, but um, about my routine, but uh, yeah, you kind of just rub it in and just leave it. You could just leave it like that and overnight it becomes amazing. And you can also kind of get rid of the extra bits by using the brush again on top. And I haven't touched the insides of these. You don't need to mess around with that. And uh, you could use whatever the, the sponge that they've kind of given you as well. That's actually quite nice to kind of apply more of an even coat all over. And um, these are just beautiful. And I think the Wonder Balsam actually works really well with these, this type dock. Um, so I would really recommend that. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And then I got these and these are church style shoes. I mean, that's what the model's called. And I would probably be using a tiny bit of the Walder Balsam. I don't want to saturate them in any way because um, it's, again, it's quite smooth. So I don't really know what it's doing. And I would just wear these like the, I, I don't want to mess around with the insides because I think it looks really nice with the light kind of color. Um, they're not really painful. They're, they're actually quite pliable as you can see. So I would say if you're looking for Doc Martens and you want them to be soft, just when you buy them, um, go to the shop, wear them, check them out, um, just kind of give them a feel. And some of the newer sort of special edition ones, like this isn't, I don't think this is a special edition. I think this is like a one where they kind of went back into their catalog and kind of design, redesigned something or re-released something. So I think they've used kind of slightly different leather for this and I just really like it. So that's, those are kind of all of my methods that I've used so far. There is one other one, which I just wanted to show you guys. Um, it's from Solovera and I just saw this online. It's a renovating cream, cleaning and renovating cream for smooth and aniline leathers. So this might be good. I haven't actually tried this yet. So, you know, comment in the comment below if 
you've tried this, but it basically looks like this. And it might be good for like the smooth kind of leathers because that's what it says. And Solovel's like another company similar to Doc Martens, so I think they're kind of related, but um, this is like a smooth sort of disgusting looking white paste. Um, and I haven't really messed around with this, but maybe that's for like another video where I can do that. But again, with these leathers, like I think just treat them like your skin, especially with the soft one. Um, like it's already, it's feeling a little bit um, dry now because I ha haven't actually done it for a while with the balsam. Um, but yeah, my best combination is these two and I would really recommend that and everything else. I think you don't really need to do the mink oil. You don't really need to do try the renovating cream. Um, I haven't really tried that, tried that, but maybe long term, you might want to do something else like that to kind of maintain and condition your shoes. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share my experience and if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.